No matter how many times you put her down, she just keeps coming back. Hallelujah! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Shangela moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the career highlights of Shangela Laquifa Wadley. From Drag Race to the Silver Screen, we're basing our choices on a mix of show-stopping performances and the humor that keeps us watching everything she does. We'll also be talking about several seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, so a spoiler alert is in order. Number 10. Her Role in A Star Is Born Ladies, make sure you've turned in your music already. Don't make me have to come get you tonight. While Shangela has been a celebrity in the world of drag for some time, she landed her most high-profile acting role in the 2018 version of A Star Is Born. She appeared early in the film as a bubbly MC at the bar where Lady Gaga's character Ali sings. Shangela was able to inject her eccentric drag persona into the role, creating a character that was entertaining to fans and unfamiliar viewers alike. Bitch, can you get down off that stage and come help me close this bar, please? Don't talk to me like that in that bus driver wig, girl. After she first connected with Gaga in a lyric video for applause, Shangela was allegedly requested for the film by Gaga's team. Given how well the role fit with her over-the-top energy, it was a promising moment in Shangela's film career. Thank you so much. You don't gotta go home, but you know the phrase. You gotta get the hell up out of here. Cause tonight I'm not losing my virginity or my liquor license over you bitches, so pack up. Number 9. 2019 Oscar Red Carpet When she strolled the Oscars red carpet in 2019 for her role in A Star Is Born, Shangela's appearance had a special historical significance. She became the first drag queen to ever walk the red carpet in drag, which she did with her friend and fellow actress Jennifer Lewis. Shangela's dress was a luxurious purple and gold design by Diego Montoya, which helped her look fittingly glamorous for the moment. She also used the publicity to highlight how far members of the LGBT community could go in Hollywood. Shangela even proposed a silly drag parody of the film called A Star Is Living. Hilarious jokes aside, her walk down the red carpet showed that drag was really becoming an important part of our culture and society. Number 8. Space Challenge Win Shangela and Alexis Mateo as the Twin Bots by the time Shangela returned for the third season of RuPaul's Drag Race, she had learned enough new skills to survive past the first episode. The main challenge for the third week saw her acting in a space opera as Alexis Mateo's twin. Shangela's dialogue was hilariously synchronized to Mateo's, and she played up the slapstick humor of their shared wig. Alexis and I, as the twin bots, we delivered when we hit that set. The judges praised them for standing out from the other queens, and the pair were crowned as the top contestants for the episode. Given how many acting roles Shangela got after Drag Race, the Space Challenge was a great first look at how entertaining she could be with a script. Congratulations, <gasps> you have won this challenge. Number 7. Her Surprise Appearances Throughout Drag Race You have only just begun, but I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of you yet. Shangela was eliminated on her first episode of Drag Race, so it was a total surprise when she came back in season three. Hallelujah, ladies! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Though this initial comeback was taken seriously by the other competitors, her returns became a running gag on the show. So when they rolled Shangela out on the fourth season, Rue hysterically yelled to take her box out and burn it. Pit crew, take this box out back. Throw in a rabid honey badger. Yes, yes. Work. And set it on fire! Yeah. Juju B's guest spot on All Stars 2 was later comically revealed to be Shangela in disguise as well. While these jokes weren't as important as her additional chances to compete, they were great surprises that played on Shangela's self deprecating comedy. Ooh. Hallelujah, I'm back, Rue! Yes! Shangela! Hallelujah! Number 6. 2019 Independent Spirit Awards When film legend John Waters directed the 2018 Spirit Awards, Aubrey Plaza was laughably replaced in her own musical showcase by none other than Shangela. Yeah, but, but I replaced it with your dance number, and then, well, I don't know, I replaced you. <laughs> it was running long. This turned out to be a medley that parodied the nominated movies with a category they called Best Original Songs That Are Not Actually In These Films. Shangela's absurd and sassy interpretation of If Beale Street Could Talk had director Barry Jenkins in Stitches. If Beale Street could talk, 
What would she say? Step aside, bitch, I'm the right away. Absurdly specific jokes about eighth grade and first reformed were also surprisingly funny, given the mostly dramatic tones of both films. Shangela's ability to tie lyrics about each movie together while dancing was pretty impressive as well. Uh -uh -oh, chicken nugget dinner. If you want more sauce, Ooh, you can have. Oh, I like that. Yes, here we go. Number five, the Nancy Drew of drag. After RuPaul's hair outfit challenge in season three, Jara Sophia claimed that Raja secretly used tulle fabric in her costume. Do you see Raja's skirt? The the yes, she used. Fabric. That's why the hair looks like a rock. As the other queens made similar claims, Shangela jumped on the case and proclaimed herself the Nancy Drew of drag. I am the Nancy Drew of drag. I want to know the real tea. And if I smell a stunt, I'm going to call it out. She lived up to her name as well and volunteered to help Raja fix her dress just to feel the fabric. The smiles on Shangela and Alexis's faces in the moment are priceless, and it was hard not to laugh when she revealed her findings. Oh, something's like cutting into my side, and it's... Where? Let me see. No, it's inside. It's just my pantyhose, you know? You know, it gets all like... Oh, like, yeah. Tangle, tangle, tangle. Mm -hmm. She praised Raja on every detail of her dress like a sneaky detective, until Raja admitted using tool too. All the covert shade towards Raja was hysterical, and it was too satisfying seeing Shangela find the answer she wanted. Finally, some truth out of Raja. Miss Raja admits that she did use fabric on her dress. Number four, All Stars 3 run. Hallelujah, I'm back, bitches! Again. All Stars was Shangela's third season competing on Drag Race, and her experience shined through in the challenges. Her comedy kept people laughing, whether it was her sickening Octavia skit or her savage reads in the workroom. Thor G. Thor. You know I love clowns. Uh huh. And I never met an unfunny one until I heard you read it. <laughs> Shangela would slay her lip syncs too, and left Rue shrieking at her hysterically upbeat fat suit routine to Freaky Money. With more wins than any other queen that season, her jury based elimination arguably robbed her of the crown. The loss seemed so unfair that even Michelle Visage claimed it was a mistake. By proving to fans that she had improved on her runway looks as much as her performances, Shangela's All-Stars run was constantly impressive. So, I'ma keep my head up, I'ma keep it pushing, and I'ma keep working. My story's not over. It's not over. Gotta keep going. Number three, debuting the first death drop on RuPaul's Drag Race. In her first episode of Drag Race, Shangela was up for elimination in a lip sync battle. She quickly tore off her skirt and danced wildly, as she noticed the judges' attention was split between her and Sahara Davenport. Since Sahara started doing flips, splits, and kicks, Shangela fell to the floor with a gag-worthy death drop. Though her debut of the move looked painful, the judges acted more concerned when she tried it during her Believe lip sync. The death drop ultimately showed how far she was willing to go, while it also highlighted her goofy performance style. Though it wasn't enough to save her from elimination, Shangela's death drop became a go-to trick for other queens in subsequent seasons. Number 2. Beyoncé's Tribute When Beyoncé Knowles and Jay-Z were being honored with GLAAD's Vanguard Award, Shangela was there to pay homage to Knowles' entire career. energy lip sync covered material from the Destiny's Child era to her self-titled album, all with backup dancers. Though Shangela's majestic rendition of I Was Here started things slow, she became excitingly animated during partition. While her triumphant hair whipping got the audience screaming, her chance for independent women showed she could easily command a crowd. Though Beyonce could be seen smiling during the dance, it was Shangela's climactic death drop that prompted Knowles to give her the standing ovation this lip sync deserved. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh my God, 
great you. Thank you. You did amazing. Oh, thank right. you. You too, Diva. Pass through. Oh, we're gonna switch this a row. Like someone came through with the tray. Number one, her untucked monologue. Following their science fiction runway critiques, Shangela slammed Mimi I'm first for doing campy drag when she was supposed to do glamour. I will never look like that. True. You'll never be glamour. Mimi crossed the line, however, when she claimed that Shangela was just bougie because of her sugar daddy. Where did this bitch hear that I had a sugar daddy? Time out. Hold up. Hold up, sweetheart. Let's get it together before you want to read. Though the ooze from other contestants were hilariously childish, the ensuing reality check was far more entertaining. Shangela's fierce rant vindicated her status and celebrated her hard work, while she hilariously threw shade at Mimi's sloppy costume design. Plus, she capped it off dramatically by actually throwing a drink at Mimi. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. I built myself from the ground up. No, you bitch! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, no, 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 no. You blotched today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.